Hello everyone. Welcome back to this video tutorial of Dynamics 365 Sales. In our previous video tutorial, we discussed about uh, price list, price list items, and how to set up the pricing information within price list items, and how to associate a price list with opportunity and add opportunity products. In this video, we will discuss about the pricing methods. So in our previous video itself, we discussed about one of the pricing method called currency amount, which is the basic pricing method where we will be setting the uh, standard or the default uh, price and that price will be reflected in opportunity. But in this video, we will be talking about uh, different pricing methods like percent of list, percent markup of current cost, percent markup of standard cost, percent margin of current cost, percent margin of standard cost so to work with this pricing method different pricing methods we need to depend on three fields within product table so within product form you can see these three fields list price current cost and standard cost so based on these three fields we can set up the pricing methods within price list items okay so here you can see different uh, pricing methods the first one is price, currency amount as i said earlier this is the uh, standard one or the default uh, thing where we will be entering the price and the same price will be reflected in our opportunity product but other than this currency amount we have these much pricing method options percent of list here you can see this is like uh, calculating the product price based on the percentage of list price that we are setting so list price is something that we will set within the product and based on the list price we will be calculating the percent of the list price and then we have percent markup of current cost and percent markup of standard cost so here it will be a based on the percent markup on top of the current cost or standard cost okay and then we have something called price percent margin for current cost and percent margin of standard cost so here it will be the price will be calculated based on the percentage margin on top of current cost or standard cost so here you don't have to worry about all these things uh, we have a formula for calculating the selling price whenever we enter markup and we also have the formula for entering the uh, or calculating the uh, selling price whenever we enter margin okay uh, you can take a screenshot of this particular thing so that you can use it uh, later whenever you calculate selling price whenever we go for markup and whenever we go for margin okay so with this we will move to our dynamics 365 application and we'll see how this uh, pricing methods works within dynamics 365 now i am in dynamics 365 sales hub application to set up pricing methods we need to go to price list so for that i will open app settings from here I will select price list and in this demo we will use retail price list so within price list we need to go to price list items and open this price list item record and currently you can see for this price list item i have associated the product tv 132 inch and within pricing information i have set the pricing method as currency amount so as i said earlier currency amount is very basic and simple pricing method where we will be entering the amount directly here in this field and whatever the value we are entering here will be the will become the price of that product here in this case 32000 is the price for this product tb1 32 inch but in addition to this currency amount we also have other pricing methods okay so before we work with other pricing methods i will just open the product here in this case we are using tb1 32 inch and here i will go to additional details and under pricing section we can see these three fields current cost standard cost and list price based on these three fields only the pricing methods will work inside price list item okay for our demo purpose i will enter a thousand for all the values okay so for all the fields i'm entering thousand here so that we can uh, simply do the calculation okay now coming back to price list item and I will choose the pricing method as percent of list. Okay, so when I select percent of list in this drop down, you can see amount field becomes locked and this percentage field becomes editable. Okay, so here if I enter some percentage, if I enter 50 and click on save, okay, sorry, I need to give the round rounding policy for now. I will just enter rounding policy as none. 
okay so if i enter percentage as 50 then what system is doing right it is calculating 50 percentage of this thousand list price thousand so currently for list list price i have entered thousand as the value so system will calculate 50 percentage of thousand and it will automatically populate this value and based on that i can enter any value up to 100 over here and if i give 75 percentage then the percent of list will based on percent of list calculation the amount will be populated as 750 okay i hope this is clear for you it is very simple concept only now we will go to percent markup of current cost okay so here current cost i have given value as 1000 rupees and for percent markup also i will give some percentage over here and let's see what it is showing so after clicking on save it is giving me the value 1500 so for this value i have already shown you the formula right so that formula will be coming into picture here so i hope you already have taken screenshot of that formula so from that formula we need to calculate the selling price the selling price that we are getting from that formula will be populated over here so here in this excel sheet i have two tables one is for uh, markup and the other one is for margin okay so now uh, don't worry about this uh, margin table we'll just look into this markup table okay so here whenever i enter value in this cost and give the markup percent the price will be automatically calculated based on the formula so already i have shown you the selling price formula for markup right the same formula i have applied it over here for this cell okay so i will just enter in our case I, we have taken the cost as cost price co the current cost as uh, 1000 rupees right so I, I have entered that value over here and markup i have entered as 50 right the same value i have entered over here and i am getting the same 1500 here so which means the calculation is correct okay and similarly we will check for another value like 80 so if we enter markup percent as 80 then the system should show the price as 1800 we will check this scenario as well 1800 okay now i will enter a value which is higher than 100 maybe 120 percent so if i give 120 percent then the amount should be populated as 2200 Yeah, it is populating 2200 so which means the formula is correct okay and the same logic applies for percent markup of standard cost as well the same formula we need to use for calculating the amount uh, when we go for a pricing method a percent markup of standard cost okay i hope this percent markup is clear for you now we will move to percent margin okay but before that i will just explain the standard cost so for percent markup of standard cost the system will use the value that we are entering inside this standard cost field instead of current cost okay that is the only difference otherwise the logic will be same okay now we will go to percent margin of current cost okay so here i will first enter 50 percent to check what it is coming so it is showing 2000 now we will check in our formula as well okay we have that excel sheet so the second table here is for margin calculation here for this k column i have entered the same uh, formula so we already have that formula right for ma markup this is the formula to calculate selling price or the amount and for margin this is the formula to calculate the amount or selling price the same formula i applied in this k2 cell okay based on this cost and margin okay now for cost as 1000 and margin 50 the value is coming as 2000 in our application also we are getting 2000 okay now i will try for another example the cost will still remain 1000 and the margin i will update to 90 so if i update it to 90 then it the amount should be populated as 10000 okay just do the same thing here 90 clicking on save and you can see the amount is populating as 10,000 okay now here the difference is in markup calculation we have entered a percent 120 which is higher than 100 and for that we are getting some amount right but here within margin calculation if I enter any value greater than 100 then 
it will not work so here you can see it is showing some negative value right which means the formula is not uh, suitable for higher value uh, the value higher than 100 okay now we will check that scenario as well here i will enter a higher value that is more than 100 and if i click on save it will show you error saying that the value should be less than 100 okay so with this you can uh, work with your uh, markup uh, pricing method and margin pricing method okay so now we completed percent margin for current cost the same logic applies for a percent margin of standard cost the only difference will be it will consider the standard cost field instead of current cost field okay so i hope uh, this uh, video uh, makes you uh, clear about uh, the pricing method concept within uh, price list and price list items okay thanks for watching